Hello, this is Smarter Prepping with Uncle Mark, and I am Uncle Mark. And this is Tuesday, <clears throat> the 16th, excuse me, Tuesday, the 16th of January, 2024. The time is about 10 minutes till 10, almost 10 p.m. Okay. I just made a batch of chili. It was absolutely outstanding. It's craving chili. Temperature outside is about 15 degrees above zero. The wind is out of the south at about 15 miles per hour, making the wind chill at 15 below zero. It's all 15. It's easy to remember. <laughs> all right. I was craving chili. So here's what I did. I looked around at my free food. All this food is free except I bought, I bought the accent, the onion powder, the iodized salt, and that's all. I don't think I bought that chili powder. I think that came in free. Oh, and I bought that chili seasoning mix. It was like half price for some reason, okay? So, what I did, I thought, okay, people normally start with some ground beef, but no, I got this canned beef. Free canned beef just sitting around. Free canned beef sitting around. And I checked, and this is 96 grams of fat, uh, <clears throat> 96 grams of fat, 120 grams of protein in that can. 96 grams of fat, 120 gram, grams of protein. Call that 200 and some gram. Look, it's 680 grams. So most of it's just water and fiber, I guess. <laughs> Think about it. You ever stop to add those up? Add up what's in your container? And then look at the total grams in the container? And it doesn't add up. <laughs> There's no carbohydrates. You say 96 grams of fat, 120 grams of protein. 680 grams of something in there. <laughs> I guess meat is mostly just fiber. Anyway, so had I got several of these. There's some of them still sitting over there. I don't have the label turned this way, but those are beef. Those white ones that match that color. So I had a lot of beef sitting around. I thought, well, that's good. That's good fatty beef. Works just as well or better than ground beef, I think. Okay, just got a little bit of salt, eating whatever. <sighs> So I dump that in this pot over here, see, right? And then one of these cans, no salt added, diced tomatoes. Put that in the pan, right? And I put in three of these, three of these chili with beans. That means in each of these cans is some more beef with beef fat, and then some beans, a little bit of, they put a little tomato seasoning in there. I realize, no, traditionally for chili, you want some tomato paste or something. So I add diced tomatoes. Let's add more tomatoes. Okay. Okay. And then I put in the chili seasoning mix. Even though I had three cans like this that already were seasoned, I don't care. Added that packet of chili seasoning mix to season up that beef. The beef had a little salt, but no other seasoning, right? And then I threw in a little accent. Threw a little bit of accent in everything. Because to make things taste outstanding. Wakes up food flavor, like I said. Onion powder. Just as a rule, you go onion and garlic. So, onion powder I bought the other day, uh, <clears throat> recently at Sam's Club. I dye salt I bought nearby. Sprinkle just a dash, a couple of dashes of that in routinely. Because iodide is necessary, it says there. I took it seriously. Chili powder, even though I got the seasoning mix, I threw in extra chili powder. Now I want it. And I got that garlic salt free. I got that for free. So, even though I prefer garlic powder, and I bought one of these canisters of garlic powder, but I figured, no, it's okay. I'll try to use some of that up. And since that don't have much salt, and this is no salt added, that waters it down a little. So, that's what I put together. So, that there is there you got the weather report. You got Uncle Mark's chili. I ate one bowl. One of these bowls, I had it filled. I ate pretty much the entire bowl. And I filled the bowl up again. I was going to just set the bowl up. I thought, no, let's bring the pot over here. Okay. So I've eaten just about halfway down. <laughs> that can, one of those, and three of those, and I've already eaten it. Wait a minute. <laughs> I guess it all together made about four quarts, and I've already eaten one quart. That's about a quart in that bowl. Anyway. <clears throat> so I won't take up any more of your time. I just thought it was what I call, I call that outstanding chili. 
call it Uncle Mark's Outstanding Chili. Outstanding. I like that word. Superlatives? Like, great, wonderful. Those different superlatives? I prefer the superlative called Outstanding. There's a joke about that. A farmer is a woman outstanding in her field. <laughs> you like that? The original joke was told a man outstanding in, in his field, but I think there's just as many women farmers as there are men. So a farmer is a woman or man outstanding in their field. <laughs> How about a couple together outstanding in their field? That's a joke, see? Outstanding in their farm field? Never mind. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll go ahead and I still gotta look at this room one more time. Look how nice. Ah, ah. Welcome to our happy home. Ah, oh, see, this is a sign for you watching the videos. Welcome to our happy home. See, our family photos. And I told you how I'm gonna redo everything. And I told you in the last video, make sure you buy that reflective vest for you. If you're going to do some kind of walking at night in the wintertime. All right. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Later, Tater.